I'm going to tie an updated version of my polar minnow. This is the minnow we're going to tie right here in the vise. These are also available through Yellowstone Fly Goods and a few people have been finding good success with this in a variety of locations. I'm going to start out with a number six B10S hook from Gamakatsu. It's just a great sticky hook for catching fish. Throwing down my thread base. And I'm going to secure these eyes really good with a bunch of wraps. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put a little zap gap on there just to really close the deal. If they move a little bit on the fly, it's not the end of the world, but it's much nicer if they just stay put. Looks like we got them in the right spot. So this fly uses UV polar chenille both for the tail and for the body. So I'm going to tie this in and we're using gold. Just run this right down to my rear tie-in point. Then I'm going to twist this body material and I'm going to end up furling it for the tail. So I'm going to get about 15 wraps here. I've tried using hackle pliers in some other ways, but it seems like it's just as easy just to take your fingers and get about 15 or so good twists on there. Then I'm just going to take this little brush and pick my fibers back out, make sure they're not trapped before I furl it. And then I'm going to pick my point about a length of the hook shank and just fold that right back over the bodkin there. And that's going to form my nice tail. And then I'm going to bring my thread back over the top and I'm going to lash this down pretty well with, you know, six, seven, eight wraps. Really want to make that thing stick. I always like a couple wraps in front of my tie-in point just to really lock things in. And then make sure my twists are out and we're just going to palmer this right up to the eyes. As I'm doing that, I'm carrying my thread up as well. Just leaving the thread hanging there helps to make it easy to get each wrap in front of the preceding one. Keeps the body together nice and tight. So there we have our body and tail. And now all we got to do is finish off the head. For that, I'm going to use some ice dub. And I'm going to split my thread, spin it up, and then figure it around the eyes. So I'm going to start. Got my little dubbing here prepped out. I've got a little claret to begin with, and then we're following that up with some tan. I'm going to spin that up nice and tight. Then I'm going to come back through and just kind of pick it out a little bit. And we're going to get that claret started behind the eyes. And then we're going to figure eight the tan over the front. And then tie it off. I'm going to let my thread untwist here before I whip finish it because otherwise it can kind of get grabby and funky. And then all we have left to do is just to comb that out a little bit. And there we have our gold version. Polar minnow ready to fish.